Just us. Hi, I'm Miriam. Hi, I'm Remy. Hi, I'm Nico. We're used to class in Kenya. I want to thank you all for coming today for our Slow Fashion Fair here in BG. So basically, at yeah, Slow Fashion Fair, it promotes and makes awareness about slow and sustainable fashion and the effects of mass fashion. And so basically, Youth for Climate, it's um, a Kenyan youth organization to raise awareness about climate change and its effects in Kenya. There are lots of stalls of different, uh, different sustainable fashion designers, and sustainable food vendors, and sustainable, sustainable lifestyle. When we had influencers who to come and give speeches to encourage all of us to take part in changing our lifestyle every day to adopt slow fashion in our day to day life. Yeah, like Deepa Dosaja, Michael Stanley Jones, Shake the Tree, Katia yeah. And trashing them, yeah. Okay, so whilst uh, planning the Slow Fashion Fair, we faced a few challenges. Like, for example, we had exams the entire period, so we had to prepare for that as well. Also, it was hard finding sustainable um, fashion designers and everything, and some of them had to cancel due to another event that was going on at the same time, BizBass. But other than that, um, I think we're quite happy with how it turned out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good. But now I'm on my way, I'm on the road. I'll be there in a few minutes. It's like 1.40 right now. Well, it's better left than never, yeah? Fashion Kenya is, is a fusion of trash and fashion is, and it entails conservation activities like upcycling, recycling and promoting eco-friendly businesses, slow fashion brands and also helping women and youth to involve themselves in fashion. We are finally here. I'm here with my sister. Twenty thousand and fifteen thousand. So we're just selling a bunch of stuff that we're not really using anymore because we can't really throw it away. So it's like polluting. This looks nice. Nepali noodles, chowmin. My name is Kiende Mashaya, and for us, our IB store and grown-up store, we just got clothes from all grown-ups who could volunteer the clothes, like give out their clothes. We asked them to get good quality clothes because it's not fair to sell to people clothes that are really not looking good. But other than that, the sales have been good, everything's been going well, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, Could they be returned to the top shop, please? Uh, and send the bottles for Bush. Please, if you return those as well. Um, Thank you very prices much. Prices range from uh, 1,000 to 500. Really nice. Especially this one. <laughs> oh, they're perfect screens. <laughs> I'm Michael Stanley Jones. I serve as the co-secretary of the UN Alliance for Sustainable Fashion. And among the designs uh, we're demonstrating today at this slow fashion fair, I'm wearing a Henry Wanjala upcycled jacket with an accompanying ensemble shirt made from material that was picked off of the factory floor from other designs and then matched and sewn and stitched to make this beautiful jacket. It's very beautiful. Thank you. Hi, I'm Katia and 
I'm the founder of Shake the Tree Kenya. A tree is something old and it grows and it's old and then it'll drop its seed and something oh, yeah. new will grow from something that was so old. Oh, that's yeah, that's really the end product of the fruit that's grown, but then it's also the new part of the fruit. Yeah. And that's what clothing, what we're doing with upcycling is we're taking something new that's then old and making it new again and then it's yeah. going to get old again, but it can be new again. Exactly. <laughs> Where we're doing beautiful bohemian style designs. So it's all upcycled and sourced from the local markets around. We have a production team of single mums that we employ. But yeah, we are trying to be zero waste and as ethical as possible, so no scrap. So all of our leftover fabrics, we'll make decorations, changing rooms, um, we'll put them on the hangers. So we'll either deconstruct pieces and like put on a whole new back or we'll um, you know, fit, put some finishings on the collar with just the fabrics. Uh, we can deconstruct leather jackets, suede jackets, carpets, which is what I made my fanny pack out of. Um, these buckles will get off old belts at Matumbo, so again, not buying new. Everything, everything is upside. The label is made with recycled paper tags. These are old pieces of ribbon. A jacket like this one would retail this at 7,000 for 8,000. It's got the Indian tape, mm -hmm. and these are authentic Indian tape. So don't waste, there's no need. There's plenty of things in the world. My name is Ivan Tsangure. We had amazing stuff from junk. We found objects. So I tried making a way of having fun with the things that people throw away. From bottle tops. Yeah, bottle tops, yeah. Cocks and, you know, old coins. Oh, the keyboard, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're here. And just remove one, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. Yes. Yes. Like instead of throwing these, like he makes it really interesting. My name is John. And this is Jimbo Weavers. We do handmade crafts. We do hardwood crafts. We have carpets, cotton carpets. We have wool carpets. We do tie and dye. We do cushions. Yes. And also we do necklaces and all that. So we have table mats as well. This is washing bowl. It's cotton. It's handwoven. It's t-shirt material. Recycled. So that now you have a good carpet. Um, so, I, so a group of students at ISK made this company called Plastiki Rafiki where they collect trash, um, mostly like bottle tops, which they put in a machine which shreds it and then melts it and turns it into like necklaces, keychains, magnets. Go for 300 and then the necklaces 500. Yeah. So it's anything that the, the kids want to design, they make the moulds for it and then that's how they then uh, come out. But they've got different collections, so for example, the fish ones, all of the plastic for the fish have come from Lake Baringo. The seahorses have all come from the coast. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the lion, uh, sorry, the rhino, which has all come from the Mara. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just gives them a little bit more of personality. And based off um, a person in Europe which found something called precious plastics. So he developed four machines to try and then reduce the amount of plastic in the environment. And then this is now Kenya's version of it because we had trouble finding some of the machines. So then ISK have managed to then create this and then have started with other businesses and setting them up so they can then do the same thing and reduce plastic. So I think for example, uh, Flip Floppy have then invested in the machines and then are going out and doing this at the cost. So hopefully it's going to have an impact on reducing the amount of plastic. There. Definitely.